This is a Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. This time around, we're going to talk about how to configure SSH. So we need a few elements in order to configure SSH. Um, we can, um, we need a, a, a key, a key pair. So we can generate a key pair, uh, which is going to be unsigned, or you can import a, uh, a signed public key pair. Um, but in this case, we're going to generate our own. It could be RSA or DSA. Um, we uh, can also authenticate with username and password, um, or you can you can authenticate um, interactive or, or with a certificate. But um, for now, we're just going to use a username and password and set up AAA. So the first thing we're going to do uh, from config mode, we're going to do a crypto key generate. Um, actually, before we do that, so there's a crypto key, so you can generate a crypto key. This is also how you would zeroize it. So if you are trying to delete a crypto key, you would do a crypto key zeroize here and it would be gone. But in our case, we're going to do a generate. Uh, and then you have a couple options. So DSA, RSA, or you could just hit enter, which I'm going to do, which will generate a DSA key pair. So this takes, you know, um, 30 seconds or so, and there it's done already. Uh, so it just depends on the hardware, how long that takes to generate that key. But that was easy enough to generate that key. Then we're going to create a local username and password. Uh, we'll just call them user, put in a password called password. Um, and lastly, we're going to do a AAA authenticate, login, default, local for local username and password. And that is really all we need for the basic config. So um, if I do a show run here, um, sorry, I scrolled by it. We have, uh, here's our AAA authentication. Here's our username and password. So we will open uh, another putty session. Uh, 192.168.1.55. And so um, Putty is going to pop me up a security alert, right? This is a, uh, this is a private key that I generated. Um, so it's just saying, are you okay with this? Could be a security issue. So we'll say yes on that. And so now um, Putty is giving me a prompt here. So uh, log in as, we'll just use our user that we just created. And uh, it tells me that it's using keyboard interactive authentication. And then password is password. So I am now SSH'd in. You can tell from the prompt here it's SSH at hostname. Um, and so if I go into enable and do a show who, um, it is showing me that the SSH server is enabled. Uh, and he, I have an SSH connection right here. Here's my client address. It's a DSA host key, user's user, uh, what its privilege level is. I'm super user in this case. Um, we're in the default VRF and how long I've been, connect, I've been connected for. So I'm, I've been two seconds in idle. Um, you can have multiple inbound and outbound sessions, but that's really all you need for the basics. Um, so I'm going to close that and then we'll hop over back to my session here. So we have many, many options we can choose. So under IP SSH, um, you can set the number of retries, you can uh, restrict clients, you can change the encryption algorithm, if you will, the amount of idle time, how you authenticate, so interactive or key or password. Uh, you can permit an empty password should you wish to. You can change the SSH port from something other than 22. You can import a public key. Uh, you can enable or disable SCP uh, rather than using a TFTP for, to secure and encrypt your, your files. Um, you can ch you can uh, change or, or identify a source interface rather than using the closest one. And lastly, um, the login timeout in seconds, which defaults to 120. So all of those are available to you, but all of them are optional. So really all you need is to generate that key uh, to create a local username and password and to set up AAA authentication for um, uh, login local. And that's enough to get you up and running. As always, Check the, uh, check the manual for other options, but that's good enough for today.